it's, it's, it's an exciting week on campus, no doubt. Um, recap from the weekend, obviously great to get SEU, sweep them in three, get in, get out. Um, really happy with our offensive output in that match. I mean, I don't think uh, we've been at those numbers where you had three, three pin hitters over three, four hundred um, for a long time. So just super happy with that offensive output. And then uh, Saturday, for those who saw it, it was a, it was a roller coaster. Um, you know, going down 0-2 um, was frustrating, really. I, I think uh, NAU did a really good job from the service line, pinning us in uh, serve receive with some different passing, uh, passing gave us some passing trouble, um, and we just kind of had trouble adapting at that point. And then, um, you know, really challenged the team in, at the break in the locker room, just. Hey, let's play with passion, let's play with fire, let's go out and attack this, stop being timid, you know? And uh, they, they took that on board and we really went out and took it to them. And, uh, you know, to, to get that third set, 26-24, roll them in the fourth set and get all the way to having match point, I think it was 14-13 match point, and just not be able to put it away was uh, bittersweet in a lot of ways, you know? It was, it was not the outcome we we're looking for, but it was certainly uh, the, the fight that we we're looking for in the sense of, um, you know, we were just looking to, to, to establish what we're going to be known for as we go into these last two or last week of conference and then obviously conference tournament. Um, you know, and I look at the last two weeks that we've had or last three weeks, whatever it's been, where we've, we've taken UNC to five, we've taken NAU to five, and in my opinion, those two along with Weaver State are kind of the, the three leading programs in, in, the, in the conference right now. And so we fear nobody, we respect everybody, but... Uh, you know, I, I think we've shown we can hang with anybody in the conference and go out and, and I believe we're a true contender for the conference title at the conference tournament this in the next week. So, but we have two good matches this week coming up to, to kind of establish what we'll, what our seating will be for that. And uh, you know, we're not going to look past anybody right now. It's just who's up, who's up, who's next up. You know, and so we've got Idaho State on Thursday, and then uh, Weber State on Saturday. So it'll be good. How much does that experience against? Yeah, I think being able to get them down at their place was huge. And then uh, being, you know, coming into senior night and all the emotions that we had there and then uh, being able to come back from 0-2 down, just, it's just proof again to ourselves that we can do anything. Um, and so I, this is a, a group who have gone from, you know, I think about Rizzo and Evie in Sydney their freshman year, I think we won, what, three matches or five matches the whole year. And um, We've gone from that to building it to where we are today, and, and we're truly contenders for the conference title. And um, you know, this proving to themselves that those days are long gone, and that we can hang with anybody. And that's that's uh, that's what that means to us. And I, I think the neat thing for us is is the tournaments at Sac State. And uh, I know we play well at Sac State. And I, I like our chances. That's good. How important is it to get the highest possible seed that you can? As you're still kind of jockeying. Yeah, it's really interesting right now. I mean, there's this whole mix, right? Uh, I think I think UNC's got number one lockdown. I think Weber State's probably got number two lockdown, you know, barring barring them losing both matches this weekend. I'm planning on them losing at least one. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then it's NAU. So really, we, we feel like if we pull the fourth seed and even the third seed, we get really nice matchups with either Sac State or Idaho, who we've gone out and competed, you know, performed really well against this year. So I like that. You know, I'll, t I'll take three or four easily, you know, comfortably. Um, you know, the joke around the office right now is they do the hotel uh, quality according to your seating. So the higher seating you get, the better hotel you get. So we're, we're, we're like, ah, do we want three? Do we want four? <laughs> you know, <laughs> we'll see. So, um, no, you know, we're, I'm, I'm comfortable. We're there. There's nobody I fear in the conference tournament. So as you know, I feel like we're gonna be in the top half of the seating and, and we'll go from there. That's, that's what my gut tells me. We'll, we'll see how everything rolls out this weekend. There's so much that can happen still. You know, I, I don't know what the lowest we can end up is, but I know we're in, which is great. But uh, you know, from there, I, I don't really care. We'll go out and play whoever's in front of us and beat them. Second time against Weaver State, you know, what, what's gotta be different? Come back home, what is a different outcome? Yeah, great question. I think, uh, you know, last time we played Weber State, they jumped on us early and, and they uh, were running a really nice fast offense to the pins. So I think we're going to make some de defensive adjustments so we can handle that a little bit better. Then our offensive efficiency against Weber State was pretty bad from my recollection. I haven't looked at the numbers yet, focused on Idaho State right now, but my recollection is our offensive output was not what it has been in the last couple of weeks. 
So we found a rhythm offensively, and, and uh, I think we can manipulate a little bit more. I think Ali Lynch is doing a phenomenal job running the offense, and every time she goes out, she gets better. So the fact that she's had a chance to look at Weaver State already and, and uh, you know, figure out what she could do better in that circumstance, I'm confident we'll, we'll do a better job the second time around. Idaho State's still a team that kind of has that possibility of squeaking into the yeah. conference tournament. You just said not overlooking anybody, but how important is that match Thursday just to, to kind of get on through and then get to leave? Yeah, I, I think Idaho State's going to be scary. I think they're going to be at home. Um, I think they know they need to win out this weekend to, to solidify their spot in the tournament. I think there's been some stuff going on in their program that I'm aware of. Um, you know, I, I know uh, Sammy's father passed away, head coach Sammy's father passed away this last week after a long battle with cancer. So, you know, I reached out to her, so the emotions are gonna be really high for them. Um, and I've got a lot of respect for Sammy and, and her coaching uh, ability and, and the system that she's running. So I think her team's gonna be fizzing and, and they're scary. I think they have probably the two best middles in the conference um, right now. And, um, if they can find some path, passing rhythm, then, then they're going to be a really, really challenging out for us on, on Thursday night. So our challenge is, is, is like any, any game, is hey, go out and win the serve pass battle. And if we can get them on their heels, take their middles out of their system, force their pins to carry the load, then I think you know, we, can, we can carry an advantage into it. But um, you know, that's, that's a team who's, you know, they're fighting for their lives right now, literally. And, um, you know, so whenever you, you run across a team like that who has talent, it's a, it's a scary prospect, there's no doubt. So we'll, we'll be on our A game for them. Do you like having to go out on the road here at the end to kind of test yourselves that way before the, the tournament? Sure, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable either way. We were talking about in the office today. I mean, we get such good fan support. I don't, I don't know how many of you guys made it. I don't really look out to the crowd too much, but I sure felt the crowd on Saturday night. And... Uh, Man, oh man, we get such good support here, and I think we had around 1,200 fans again on Saturday night. And there was a student section that I hadn't seen for a little while. They just got rowdy at the end there, and no doubt we had the whole backing of the gym. And so, leaving that at home can be, you know, detrimental. Um, but I also think we travel really well. I think this team likes to be on the road. I think they like to have that mentality of, hey, it's us against the world right now. Um, and. You know, so we've done well on the road already. I'm confident we can do it again. And, and like you say, it's not a bad thing to be on the road to prepare us to be on the road for the tournament. Um, so I'm, we're excited for that, for sure.